Holler if you hear me, and welcome to this week's edition of Luke Covers, because, well, 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 the blame game, that football, that nuclear football that's been tossed around from one side of political aisle to the next, trying to blame who, who, who is really to blame over the Democratic Party not getting the election result they want, well, 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 if you remember in all this saga, the famously how it was uh, George Clooney who wrote an op that got published that was suggesting that uh, good old Joe Biden be the one to step down so that Kamala could take the campaign over. And well, 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 now it appears that good old previous Democrat President Obama is now somehow in private rumored to have been uh, blaming Clooney for uh, this uh, electoral failure. Because really, really, really what that is, is an extension of the idea that really Hollywood actors have that much impact or influence over people and places and things in the world that, you know, the common man, the common woman in this day and age, it really, really matters what they're doing, what they're saying, what they think, and like they really influence people. When the actual issues and the actual interests of the actual common man and common woman are nowhere near uh, entirely entrenched around what Hollywood and the Democratic Party are saying or thinking in every given day, but they're certainly going to keep convincing themselves that they are, because even now, the, it seems one of those handful of those sensible people out there, or at least those Democrats who are able to take a good look and see how the defeat of the Democratic Party at the election is really no different from thinking that they had all of the cards on hand, thinking that they had everything ready to go, thinking they had all the best equipment, all the best resources, all the best money, all the finance behind them. And then it turns out absolutely positively no, just like what happened with Michigan and Ohio State this past weekend, where the most arrogant, conceited idiots thought that this was in the bag, that they were going to do everything, that they would have won just by showing up, and that the other team shouldn't show up at all. But then you actually realize, oh no, wait, they play four quarters in this game. And you may have the entire press in your corner, except for maybe a few people with, you know, like what, Fox News or Newsmax being the equivalent to Charles Woodson being the one guy who predicted before the game on any of those college football networks about, oh yeah, uh, Michigan wins by three. And guess what? That one guy in the corner was the one guy who proved to be absolutely right. And maybe, maybe, maybe this is just another sign of how it should not be up to Hollywood celebrities to try to go and be the ones whose opinions are the most heard when it comes to politics at all. But it turns out, no, this is not how it's going to be. Those other few people that are able to accept the defeat or at least are able to understand how the defeat happened... Are they the ones they're going to be listening to? No. Like, say, that one nice, uh, that one crazy Cajun man, uh, Mr. James Carville, whenever he's around, I immediately am wondering, I have a question for him. What exactly is Cajun style? I, I, you, you like you like to talk about Cajun style, but what is Cajun style? I don't know. But at least he's smart enough to know that the issues that affect those voters out there, it's not a matter of whatever are the, the most unhinged in part of the left. That whatever it is that's going to make some professionally offended Seattle idiot, you know, all those people involved in good old Kamala's campaign that were threatening to withdraw uh, from working for her if she went on the Joe Rogan experience, good. You are one vote. You're, uh, and what that is is the real life equivalent of what people like me have been saying for years about, you know, the mainstream pop culture about five crazy people on social media with a megaphone actually are able to rule over the opinions and over the business decisions and creative decisions of a movie studio or of a comic book publisher or of a video game developer because some entitled know-nothing 20-something with more uh, you know, useless college education than actual brains or common sense are the ones dictating what everybody else in the world is supposed to be like. And how dare you even entertain the thought of going to the Joe Rogan experience because if you don't, then I'm going to quit. When the proper response to someone like that is, good, you're useless clawed. You don't contribute anything positive. You don't contribute, well, anything at all, except the ability to make everything about you. And, well, sorry, the world does not revolve around you. The issues or the important things that actually matter to people are those issues and important things that you think are one ist or ism of one form or another. And, well, 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 it appears that even an actor like George Clooney now... Uh, he may be the one who, for years upon end, long before any of this with Kamala and with Biden and all that, was the kind of guy who was always pontificating and opinionating, like every other major actor out there in Hollywood, but with some at least flashes of some interest or some common sense, or little things in there, like, say, him being, you know, in the early days of when we were convinced that South Park was really cool and edgy, and, oh, they make fun of everybody, until that mask started falling off by Obama's second White House, and suddenly they were doing sub-Daily Show-level takes on 
all of the big left-wing little talking points from the Redskins name to the Confederate flag to uh, all of that, all of that, all of that. And then, of course, you know, their big a bit of, you know, anger and hopium and copium of lashing out at the 47th president with the same tired old shtick. Although, strangely, for all those people that say that, oh, so will refuse to acknowledge that they pretty much never harmed a hair on Obama's head. And now Joe Biden or Kamala Harris simply do not exist in the world of South Park, but they will bludgeon you for five straight years of aggressively repetitive and unfunny Mr. Garrison is the 45th president shtick. But that's just a little something. And also, let's not forget about them, you know, trying to take back their opinion on uh, climate change with the obvious man-bear-pig metaphor. But, of course, you know, that sort of uh, doing their own woke revision, take back sees that thing that might offend some leftist. Basically, uh, yeah, you should also notice that. And at least with a guy like, you know, Clooney, the early days when some like South Park was out there, he was the guy who was willing to go on there and be Stan's gay dog who does nothing but bark instead of make a whole episode about how great and cool he is. But now, 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 let's see. Clooney, understandably, probably now is uh, in a very strange way before of him being one of the big example of all the Hollywood actors who think that the issues all are things that they know so much and that they dictate so much is definitely another example of, yeah, Hollywood actors having an opinion on the politics or influence over the political climate really, really should be dead because if they actually are going to really keep on with the idea that it was his op-ed that Joe should stand down, that's really what finally motivated Joe to step down in the election and make it all about Kamala. Well, if that was the case, that was a really, really stupid decision because you definitely would not have had as massive a Walter Mondale-like landslide loss like you just had. But also on that same time, maybe now uh, Clooney could go and be a little bit more humble about these things and maybe be a little bit more acknowledging of, well, yep, no, I done screwed up about this, considering this is the same guy who also got a, you know, a big, uh, still has big remembrances and, and traction, positive traction to his day, to this day, about, you know, apologizing for Batman and Robin, how terrible it was. And the deal, the detail about how if anybody ever approaches him and asks him for their money back for Batman and Robin, well, maybe that's the main reason why he's one of those few big-name actors or celebrities actually would want to meet, because, well, if he really is a man of his word, then I would ever want to see him in person and say, you know, my father and me, my sister and two brothers, yeah, we all saw Batman and Robin when I was five, we'd like our money back. And, well, if he actually does produce the 25 bucks for it, then, 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 oh, right, well, then, okay, hey, th 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 well, there, there's one thing to look on the bright side for. That's one thing, if that really is true, if it happens and happen, and it's more likely to happen than to ever see Kamala in the White House ever again. And that's not my opinion, I know I'm right. So I want to thank you all for watching, subscribe to my channel hits 10,000 subs, don't forget to become a member today, shop my art store at the second link below, where you can buy my art uh, and our Cyber Monday deal we've got going on, everything is between 5 to $50 off, you can also commission me or you can donate to show your direct support in my store right there, and if you want to buy a commission work from outside of America, you uh, just simply have to go and make your payment as a donation with another donation for the international shipping handling fee, as our friends in the DNC in Hollywood are doing this. Passing this around over the electoral laws. Passing it, and passing it, and passing it, and passing it, and passing it again. So, felines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, space cowboy.